Welcome to Universal Display Corporation, home of energy-efficient phosphorescent OLED technology. Since our inception in 1994, Universal Display's innovation strategy has centered on building a robust foundation of best-in-class OLED technologies. As an international company headquartered here in Ewing, New Jersey, with locations around the world including Ireland, China, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and our subsidiary Adesis in Newcastle, Delaware, our global team is dedicated to enabling the OLED industry by leveraging our core competencies to create and commercialize highly efficient and cost-effective phosphorescent OLED material solutions, as well as developing novel OLED technologies for our customers and partners. You can find our proprietary universal folder materials in virtually every OLED product in the market today, from smartwatches and smartphones, to tablets and laptops, to automotive applications and TVs, to solid state lighting. So come with me and we'll take a look at how we do this. Our chemistry team are continuously innovating, inventing and introducing new proprietary phosphorescent emissive systems. Oh, Bert, just the guy I wanted to see. Yeah, hi, Mike. Hey, can you talk to us about our chemistry team? Sure. All of our phosphorescent proprietary materials are designed, invented and developed right here at Universal Display Corporation. Process development is carried out at our subsidiary Adesis and also here at Universal Display. We have state-of-the-art purification and analytical equipment to ensure that our materials are of the highest quality and meet our customers' specifications. We have a core computational team that plays a key role in predicting key molecular properties and influence the design of our targets. We perform photophysical experiments to gain full understanding of the performance of our materials. Let's take a walk into the chemistry labs. Okay. We are inside UDC's R&D Chemistry Lab, where the team of chemists and scientists are working on our next generation emitter host systems. Hi, Peluk. Hey, Bert. Hi. Please tell us, what are the chemists working on today? Well, here in the Chemistry Lab, our main goal is to design, synthesize, and purify the best performing and most advanced uh, phosphorescent emitters for red, yellow, green, and blue, as well as their host counterparts. And what are some of the key challenges? One of the main challenges, I would say, is the ever-changing and ever-demanding customer specifications for lifetime, color, and efficiency. Even the smallest change in those specs will influence uh, tremendously the chemical structures of our materials. All of the materials made in the research lab are purified by the most advanced purification techniques. Each material is taken to the analytical lab to be analyzed. Hi, Karina. Hi, Bert. How are you doing? Can you please let us know what some of the major purposes in this analytical lab? Sure. In the analytical lab, we have several leading edge analytical equipment to ensure that we can detect those deleterious impurities that can affect our device lifetime. Some of the impurities are harmful to device lifetime at even parts per billion levels. Our goal is to develop a method to detect those impurities. Thank you very much. Once the material passes the analytical lab, then it goes to the optical lab. Hi, Jason. Oh, hi, Bert. How are you doing? Great. I just came from the analytical lab. What goes on in the optics lab? Oh, yeah, sure. So um, after the compounds are synthesized and purified in the chemistry lab, they come here to the optics lab. And this is where we characterize the intrinsic photophysical properties. We routinely measure steady state spectra, and this tells us about the color and if the molecule is suitable for display applications. We also measure the photoluminescent quantum yield, and this tells us how efficiently the molecule emits light. And finally, we measure the excited state lifetime. These measurements taken together give us a comprehensive understanding of the nature of the emissive state of the molecule. Thank you very much, Jason. Yeah, of course. So there you have it. You have seen where our proprietary materials are invented and developed. You have seen where we do all of our purification and our analytical work. You have seen where we do all of our photophysics. Now, the material goes to the device lab where they are deposited on substrates. 
You've just visited our chemistry labs where our phosphorescent materials are created. Now we have to test them in an OLED device. Hi, Sakano. Here we are in front of the Class 100 clean room. Can you tell us more about what happens in this front-end process lab? Sure, Mike. The front-end fab is where we make substrate to test the phosphorescent OLED material invented by UDC chemists. All fabrications takes place in our Class 100 clean room to ensure that the substrate are particle free. We make substrate to test this novel and new developmental materials, as well as for testing each batch of commercial OLED emitter material sent to our customer. Thanks, Sukono. So Eric, we have our OLED materials and our OLED substrates. Now we have to design experiments to test those materials on our substrates. How do we go about doing that? It's a good question, Mike. The first steps are to design a device architecture or series of architectures and use that design to fabricate functioning OLED devices. So how do you do all of that? Well, here in one of our dedicated device fabrication labs, it's where we take the OLED materials from our chemistry team and turn them into functioning OLED devices. We do this by vacuum thermal evaporation, which allows us to deposit our materials layer by layer on the substrate to build up an OLED stack. Thanks, Eric, that's great. So let's go in the lab now and take a look at this process. So we have our OLED materials, our OLED substrates, and our device blueprint. Now we put them all together to make an OLED device here in the OLED fabrication lab. Jeff, can you tell us what you're doing? Yes, uh, right now we're combining the materials from the chemistry group onto the foundation from the front end process group. And we take the architecture from the scientists and we grow the experiments in our high vacuum, high sophisticated vacuum systems. We have trailblazers as technicians who can adapt to any situation. And right now we're fabricating a device that will run for several hours and well into the night shift. We just keep running and running. Can you show me what you're doing right now then? Sure, so right now we're creating uh, the recipe. In our OLED device test labs, we characterize the OLEDs we've just fabricated. We're looking to test parameters such as color saturation, efficiency, and lifetime. Vadim, can you tell us more about these parameters? Oh yes, sure, Mike. The color saturation is directly responsible how beautiful the display looks, how accurately it translates the color of the display's object. The same story with the lighting sources. The right color gamma of the lighting source enables no color distortion of the illuminated objects as if they are illuminated by the sunlight. Efficiency indicates how much power the device consumes to produce the light. And the high efficiency enables the long battery lifetime for the uh, OLED display cell phones or tablets. And what about lifetime? The lifetime is very important for the OLED devices because the long lifetime of the devices, it enables to, the device to last long without the fading of the color and without distortion of the color gamma. And our UDC proprietary materials, they're critical to get the good lifetime in the OLED device. Thank you, Vadim, for the explanation. I'll sure. let you get back to work. Sure, Mike. Thank you. In this lab, we work on quality control of all our materials. Hey, Dave. Hey, Mike. Hey, do you mind talking to us about quality control? Sure. Quality control is an integral part of UDC's commercial phosphorescent material business. Our highly efficient, high-performance OLED materials are exclusively manufactured for us by PPG Industries. It's been a very strong foundry partner since 2000. PPG manufactures our proprietary materials to very strict purity specifications as even trace levels of impurities can impact performance. As part of our ISO 9001 certified quality management systems, we conduct an in-use test on every batch of product 
to ensure that each batch provides the consistent, high performance that our customers require. Our operations here are certified to both ISO 9001 and ISO 14001, demonstrating our commitment to both quality and the environment. That's great, Dave. So can you tell us what's the next step for our phosphorescent emitters? Well, Mike, now that our commercial materials have been analyzed, evaluated, and tested, we need to prepare them for customer shipment. Let's head to our packaging labs. Hey, Carlton. Hey, Dave. So we're here inside UDC's packaging lab. Can you tell us a little bit about what the team does here? Well, when we receive a customer order, our phosphorescent materials are handled and bottled in our controlled lab environment, which safeguards against things such as foreign particulate contamination or even phosphorescent material cross-contamination. You see, here at UDC, we pride ourselves on our attention to detail and quality customer service. That's why each order is processed with the utmost scrutiny to assure that all of our customer specifications and or requirements are met each time, every time. Thanks, Carlton. Looks like you guys are pretty busy back here. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks, Dave. So you've seen our R&D team inventing and developing new materials, and designing new device architectures, and testing and measuring those materials, in addition to packaging our commercial phosphorescent emitters. Our R&D team are also involved in new initiatives to enable the OLED marketplace. One of those new initiatives is a new novel technology process called OVJP. Bill, can you tell us more about OVJP? Hi, Mike. Sure. Organic Vapor Jet Printing, OVJP for short, is a solventless, maskless deposition technology which allows panel makers to combine the benefits of using small molecule OLED materials, the industry's trusted standard, with a printing process that enables cost-effective, high-performance, large-area, side-by-side RGB patterning. Using multiple jet arrays, OVJP can print 4K and 8K lines for side-by-side -side RGB pixel designs. OVJP is a revolutionary new manufacturing method for high-resolution, large-area OLED displays. Thanks, Bill. This really is a new exciting technology. For 25 years, Universal Display Corporation has stood for vision, innovation and reality. And we are proud of that reputation. As a fast-moving, forward-thinking company, we continue to target new opportunities for growth with our expanding phosphorescent and OLED product portfolios. We are advancing our strategic initiatives while developing groundbreaking technologies and novel solutions to further grow the landscape of bright, beautiful, brilliant OLED consumer applications. As the evolution of the oil industry continues to stretch the frontiers of the dynamic display and lighting industries, we look forward to continuing to enable the ecosystem with our high-performance, energy-efficient, phosphorescent OLED technology for customers around the world to enjoy. Thanks for taking the time to visit Universal Display Corporation. For more information, please visit us at OLED.com.